Now here are the details, the biggest deals of the year thus far. The top one announced just yesterday, UK-based Prudential buying AIA Group, that is AIG's Asian life insurance unit, for $35.5 billion. Also last week, Coca-Cola announcing it will buy its North American bottling business for $12.2 billion. So in what sectors and what parts of the world can we expect to see deals this year? Joining us now, John Reese, a partner at White & Case and the firm's global head of mergers and acquisitions. His multi-billion dollar assignments cover the financial services, manufacturing and energy sectors all around the world. John, it is great to have you on set today. Thanks for coming in. Will, in your view, M&A gain steam this year? Thank you very much, Laurie, for having me. I appreciate being on. Um, I think M&A has already started to build up in the last six months or so. We all look back at 2007 as the reset button in July of 2007 and then two years of turbulence. Over the last three to four months, we've seen resurgent M&A activity, um, but the button has been reset and we will see sustained activity, I think, during 2010, um, but at a different level than we've historically sort of seen it. When you say the button has been reset, what do you mean exactly by that in terms of how sweet these deals are, value, explain? I, I think more in terms of the level of deals, the volume of deals. So for example, if you look at the advisory business and you look at the investment banks and the law firms, as a general matter across the board, you're probably gonna see a pipeline of 60 to 65 percent of what you saw in 2007 but more importantly that pipeline is very long it takes a long time to do deals when you might have gotten a deal done in six weeks in 2007 in 2009 and 2010 it's going to take take six months the buyers have reset the buyers are ready to go the sellers probably have not sufficiently reset their price expectations it's yet. It's interesting, though, that just talk of a deal. In fact, there was rumor yesterday that the New York Times would be acquired by the billionaire Carlos Swim, and that alone sent shares skyrocketing. So even though, as you're describing, these deals will take some time, just the talk or the announcement of interest, do you think that this will be a key driver of stocks for the year? I think it's a key driver of transactions because, as I said, the seller's price expectations haven't fully reset yet, and many deals need exogenous factors to get started. So, for example, the approach by Carlos Slim with respect to New York, the New York Times is an exogenous factor. Whether there's going to be enough M&A activity to drive the stock market forward is, is very unclear. And to the extent that the stock market is driven forward dramatically because of that, that is going to, in the end, reduce uh, the M&A activity because, in fact, one of the strengths for the M&A market right now on the buy side is reasonable prices at this point in time. All right, so let's talk about these reasons for deals and prices. You've got strong buying, like a lot of the healthcare deals, which we've heard about. Um, also, weak selling as another reason, situations like AIG and Citigroup. So what do you think will be the pretext for deals to happen? I think the pretext for deals to happen is going to be buyers being in a good position to buy because of the cash positions that you just showed on the tape, the PE buyers with enormous cash. The PE buyers, in fact, have dry powder, probably 10% in excess of what they even had in 2007, the sovereign wealth funds. So there's going to be driven, the activity is going to be driven by the buyers, and then the sellers are going to be pulled to the altar, even so far as through hostile activities and act, uh, hostile acquirers and activist investors. So dry powder with reference to the private equity deals, all that Tons stuff on the sidelines that the Tons PE firms can just dip into. Exactly. So this and deal announced today. Sorry. Go ahead, continue. And strengthening credit markets and better opportunities uh, for the PE buyers to borrow money to finance their acquisitions. Okay, so let me just get your opinion, your reaction to the announcement, the Dow Chemical deal, this uh, $1.63 billion with uh, Bain Capital. There's been reports that uh, private equity funds are going to have to expect lower returns here in this new era. I think that's absolutely clear, and to me, one of the strongest signs of that is Cowper. Uh, the Wall Street Journal recently reporting that Cowper's may be reevaluating its target returns. All right, interesting stuff. John Reese with White and Case. Thank you so much coming on talking Thank about trends and mergers and acquisitions I really today. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Likewise. Thank you very much.